Happy hump day, everybody getting closer and closer to the weekend. Hang on. We're going to get there together. OK, a couple things going on with the weather. First off, it was cold yesterday. We're getting warmer for the next couple of days before our next system comes in to cool us right back down again with rain and snow in the forecast. Now let's talk about the, the, the effects of the warmer temperatures. We're talking about melting snow on the rivers of uh, Yellowstone River, uh, Powder River. We're going to see some ice breaking up and then it's going to pile up and that's going to cause those ice jams. And that's why we do have a flood warning in effect brought us there along the Powder River where we are already starting to see some of that localized flooding. So flood prone areas because of ice jams, you know who you are. Just plan accordingly because you may see some flooding uh, over the next couple of days because of those warmer temperatures. But the warmer temperatures won't last. Now, not, and not only are we going to cool back down, but we do have some snow in the forecast. High pressure trying to keep us dry for the next couple of days. Northern parts of Wyoming and down in the mountains, we could see some flurries for the next few days. And then here comes our next system out of the west. We're going to have um, colder temperatures as we get into the weekend. First off on Friday, I think it's going to be warm enough where we're going to see some rain, maybe even a thunderstorm. Northern parts of Wyoming, maybe a rumble of thunder or two here around Billings. And then it transitions to snow Friday night through the weekend where we could pick up a couple of inches of snow. We'll go 39 today in Livingston, 37 in Cody. We'll tag team at 35 today in Miles City and Sheridan. Here in Billings up to 44, but a good 10 degrees warmer tomorrow. Nice before that cool down.